our problem more of process than restructuring. Oga I clean up on rice import to stop. Boharam beaten power hits 7000 MW. The government will fish out the blackmailers behind the crippling fuel scarcity, President Muhammadu Buhari promised this morning. In his New Year address to the nation, the president regretted the untold hardship the fuel crisis caused Nigerians during the Christmas and New Year celebrations. In an address that touched on many areas of national life, the president said this year is critical to the achievement of the change mantra that the Buhari campaign adopted to win the 2015 election. He had a word for advocates of restructuring. Nigeria's problem is more of process than the restructuring of the polity, the president said. He stressed that the Boharam insurgency had been beaten. Buhari spoke of his administration's resolve to dwell more on the completion of major infrastructure with special emphasis on road, rail and power. He explained that the country last month generated 7,000 MW of electricity and distributed 5,155 MW the highest level ever recorded to consumers. On the economy, Buhari said, you will recall that it was not until last year that we got out of the economic recession into which the country had fallen as a consequence of past unsustainable economic policies which projected short-term illusory growth. The government is slowly stabilizing the economy. It was in order to change the steady and steep decline that we adopted the more sustainable policies and programs captured in the economic recovery plan. Diversification efforts have resulted in improved output, particularly in agriculture and solid mineral sectors. The relative exchange rate stability has improved manufacturing sector performance. The Niger Delta got some news the Ogoi cleanup is on course, Buhari said. The president explained, I join my fellow citizens this morning to welcome and celebrate the new year 2018. This year promises to be pivotal in our quest for change. Unfortunately, I am saddened to acknowledge that for many, this Christmas and New Year holidays have been anything but merry and happy. Instead of showing love, companionship and charity, some of our compatriots chose this period to inflict severe hardship on us all by creating unnecessary fuel scarcity across the country. The consequence was that many could not travel and the few who did had to pay exorbitant transport fares. This is unacceptable, given that NNPC had taken measures to ensure availability at all depots. I am determined to get to the root of this collective blackmail of all Nigerians and ensure that whichever groups are behind this manipulated hardship will be prevented from doing so again. Such eupatriotism will not divert the administration from the course we have set ourselves. Our government's watchword and policy thrust is change. We must change our way of doing things or we will stagnate and be left behind in the race to lift our people out of poverty and into prosperity. The Ministry of Power, Works and Housing is one of the drivers of this government's commitment to renew and increase each area's stock of infrastructure in order to achieve global economic competitiveness as targeted under the Economic Recovery and Growth Plan.